Yeah, so we have created a drawing. I'll just set the sizes and spec and bringing up the T from the tool palette. So here is a T which shows a droplet. I'm just changing the rotation and we'll add some flanges on the all the three offsides. So let's say I'm just adding this one, second and third. Yeah, so this is a complete one. So uh, we are talking about the creation of this trainer over here. So this is the uh, required equipment. So which does showcase a uh, droplet. So whatever the, we are uh, importing from the third party sources now we have to explode them first in the same way so i'll just explode this is how it will look like without any drop mark and you have to you can check that one out with the properties as well by selecting and right clicking now which is important uh, now let's create a block and specify the name select by selecting object and by picking the point so i'll just select the overall component and picking up this specific point as in this one with the help of op snap yeah so this is how my block has been created now after creation of block uh, block you have to apply one command called plant part convert simply select and add the port location so this one is my first port you have to specify all those ports uh, whatever the ports you do require let's accept let's go ahead and add once again secondary port take the point define the location define the direction as well and this is this one is the third one so let's say exit so this is the done uh, with the modeling thing now save that drawing and let's uh, have a look over the particular spec editor so you have to select that spec and let's say edit spec Eventually, we will uh, the new application regarding the Autodesk Spec Editor for Plant 3D will appear. It will load up your the content uh, .pcat file, and here it is. So the above one is uh, the spec, which is an activated one, CS300, and lower one is the overall library. You can pick that uh, any component which is not available and add to that particular spec. So in this way, you can add uh, the components. Now let's have a look over the catalog editor. Within the catalog editor, let's say create new component. Yeah, so I'm talking about the wall. Let's say I'll set the wall and wall type and primary end type. Let's have a look over by applying the sizes. So let's say 100 mm and we'll pick up the simplest one. I'll just showcase you the two methods. So this is one method creation. Creation on an existing dimension, you have to fill out all those there, uh, all those components properties like long, uh, long description and the other details, flange area and the sizes with respect to the preview image available. So this is the one way, and let's just save. The second one is the custom AutoCAD drawing block. In this case, I'll just showcase you how to create a strainer. Miscellaneous, there is a strainer component. You can define the sizes. Let's say 100 mm metric. Short description you can put out and the primary end type is my so let's say strainer and say strainer test one maybe you can define whatever the description you would like and for the primary end i'll pick flange you can define the port number of connection ports three i do require let's say create once we create you can see uh the same information that we have to fill out first so let's go to the general properties fill out the long description strainer test one and manufacturing details materials and material code that you can fill that out as per the requirements important is iso symbol type and iso symbol key that has to be mentioned just to represent in the iso drawing now i'm just picking up that all ports are the same size and picking up the end type and port property says yes i'm facing is uh, RF pressure class that has to be mentioned. This is the mandatory information. I am filling that out. Let's say long description strainer test one item code or weight code you can pick out all properties and matching pipe OD is 114.3 and other things are the same. Now, here you can select the model. You have to specify that drawing where you have said that plant part convert command we have applied. So let's say I'm going to the particular project under the particular project there is a plan 3d model and there is our drawing 
so the drawing showcase will what are the blocks that has been created so st strainer one we have created and this is the preview for it and after specifying save to catalog it will appear over the uh, over the downward side over the library you can right click to that component and add to spec so this could be possible with the catalog reader itself add to spec you have to specify that spec name and this is how it should be now uh, visible over the our existing spec note that uh, the, the the sizes of the model for that reason you have to create a multiple blocks let's check this out within the spec editor so you have to update that spec first so there are many ways for updating i'm just changing it to 600 to 300 just to make the reflections or uh, just to refresh it now let's have a look whether it's been added within our spec or not so yeah here it is the strainer test one is visible i'm just picking up and inserting this within the model as soon as we placed it over model as you can see the particular model does have water drops that means it is ready to use the main thing is after uh, importing or after placing it uh, within our drawing area for the utilization it should get automatically created the counter flange along with the gaskets and bolts it but somehow it is showing some error connect connection between the imperial and metric so this may be the issue based on the uh, what are the units we have selected for that run to, to overcome that uh, particular issue simply go to the project setup under the plan 3d drawing setting you will find out a folder called piping connection setting in this one simple joints is plain join modify that one and, and the first option is this joint connection imperial to matrix please check that one apply and okay now let's let's try this out uh, let's check this out whether it is working or not Let's pick that one out and pick the plus symbol for continue routing. It is still showcasing, but let's say, yeah, the result is visible in front of our eyes. It is now uh, able to create the count, uh, the, the continue routing, which eventually able to uh, place a counter flange along with the gaskets and bolt set and the pipe one as well, including the water drop at the end on the every side let's say I'll, I'll just show guys do not show this message and yeah we are ready to go ahead this is how we can go ahead and work with on the top i'll i'll uh, flange blender i'll apply and this is our manual strainer that has been added so this this shows how we can uh, import any 3d model from the third party application and we can apply those all those information from the explode to the block and create or add a custom equipment within our spec so this command will help you to update the spec